With Jadon Sancho having returned to Dortmund on loan earlier this winter transfer window, he joins a long list of players who have returned to their former clubs for a second or sometimes even third spell. However, in most cases, the second spell is never as good as the first. At Dortmund alone, players like Goetze, Kagawa and Nuru Sahin have returned and been nowhere near as good in their second spell as they were in the first. However, there's also a healthy list of players who have returned to their former clubs and been just as good if not better the second time round. So to give Jadon Sancho some inspiration and hope, we'll take a look at 8 players who successfully returned to their former clubs. As always, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Number 8. Nemanja Matic Chelsea signed the Serbian for just £1.5 million in 2009, but Matic played just three times for the first team before being loaned out to Vitesse and then sold to Benfica. After three strong seasons in Portugal, Chelsea swallowed their pride and splashed out £21 million to bring him back to West London. In his second spell, he would end up being an integral member of the first team. Matic would go on to help the Blues win two Premier League titles and formed one of the best midfield duos with Kante in his final season at the club before he was sold to Manchester United. Number 7. Marco Royce While Royce has had plenty of chances to follow the likes of Goetze, Lewandowski and Gundogan through the exit in recent years, he remains a Borussia Dortmund player till this day. The German international did leave the club at one stage of his career though, joining Rot-Weiss Arlen aged 17 in 2006. He then spent three years at Borussia Mönchengladbach where he established himself as one of the Bundesliga's most creative and exciting young players. Dortmund wasted little time in snapping him up in 2012 and Royce now 34 is still an important pillar of the team. Number 6. Mats Hummels Experienced German centre-back Hummels is currently at Dortmund whom he rejoined in 2019 after spending three seasons with their rivals Bayern Munich. However, he had originally been at Bayern before his first spell at Dortmund meaning that just like Buffon, he has also returned to not one, but two former clubs. Hummels emerged from Bayern's youth system, but his first time at the club was mostly spent in the reserve side. In 2008, he was loaned to Dortmund before moving permanently a year later. He enjoyed a successful spell that totaled nine seasons, in which he made 309 appearances, scoring the surprisingly high 25 goals and winning seven trophies. Still only 28, he then headed back to Munich, making a further 116 appearances and winning 7 more trophies before Dortmund again snatched him back in June 2019. Despite now being 35, Hummels is still a key player for Dortmund and was even recalled to the German national team after a two-year absence. Number 5. Zlatan Ibrahimovic Despite playing for 9 clubs during his career, there is nowhere Zlatan is more fondly remembered than at AC Milan. The ex-Sweden striker first starred for the Italian Giants on loan from Barcelona for the 2010-11 season before making his move permanent. He won the Serie A title in that campaign with 28 league goals to win the Golden Boot before leaving for PSG in 2012. Ibra would remain one of the world's best players during his time in France before spells at United and LA Galaxy. He would return to Milan to end his career though, signing for the Rossoneri in January 2020, age 38. When he initially joined Milan, they were struggling to get in the top four, but before retiring in 2023, Ibrahimovic was able to inspire Milan to their first Scudetto since his first spell at the club. Number 4. David Luiz David Luiz's return to Chelsea in 2016, after two years at PSG, came rather out of the blue. He initially moved to Stamford Bridge in 2011 and Matic was part of the deal to bring him to West London and his first spell compromised of four seasons in which he made 143 appearances and won three trophies, including the Champions League in 2012. His performances in Chelsea Blue were enough to convince French champions PSG to fork out a then world record fee for a defender. Despite internet mockery of the 40 million price tag, Luiz would go on to play 89 times for PSG, winning seven trophies. Deadline day in August 2016 then brought about a shock return to West London for Luiz, as PSG made a small loss on him. He would make a further 105 appearances for the Blues, winning another three trophies, which this time included the Premier League, before moving on again in 2019, this time to London rivals Arsenal. Luis now plays for Flamengo in his homeland. Number 3. Gerard Piquet From Manchester United reserve to World Cup winner and European champion at club and international level, it's fair to say that Gerard Piquet made the right decision, swapping Old Trafford for Camp Nou in 2008. Between his arrival at United as a prodigy in 2004 and departure four seasons later, Piquet never truly convinced Sir Alex Ferguson of his potential and played only a handful of matches for the Red Devils. But at Barcelona, he became one of the best centre-backs on the planet and filled up his trophy cabinet to the brim. He retired in 2022, having made over 600 appearances for Barcelona. Number 2. 
Ivan Rakitic. Rakitic had his first spell at Sevilla between 2011 and 2014, in which he won the Europa League. Then he had a six-year spell at Barcelona, which saw him win the Champions League, four La Ligas and a handful of other trophies. Sevilla then re-signed him for just 1.5 million euros in the summer of 2020. He's gone on to make a further 170 appearances for the club, winning the Europa League for the second time last season. Number 1. Claudio Pizarro The forward didn't join Werder Bremen once, nor twice, but actually four times, five if you count his season-long loan during his 24-year career. He made an impressive 320 appearances in a decade at the club, scoring 153 goals in the process. Claudio Pizarro first joined Werder Bremen in 1999, after beginning his career in his native Peru. He attracted the attention of Bayern Munich two years later and at the German Giants he won three Bundesliga titles. A barren spell at Chelsea followed, notching just two goals in 32 games and he was even sent back on loan to Werder Bremen before joining the club for a second time in 2009. Pizarro then rejoined Bayern for another three seasons, adding three more German titles as well as the Champions League title in 2013 to his collection. He would then go on to return to Werder Bremen. In the 17-18 season he spent a season at Cologne before returning to, you guessed right, Werder Bremen for two seasons. And that was it for the eight players who successfully returned to their former clubs. But what do you guys think? Did we miss out on any players? Let us know in the comments below and please don't forget to like and share the video and subscribe to the channel.